Uh, this question is, uh, do you see openness theology as a natural evolution of evangelical thought? Well, if you think about evolution as the survival of the fittest, then I'm really not <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, seriously. Um, is it a development of evangelical thought? Well, I, I think it depends upon what form or branch of evangelicalism you're talking about. If you're talking about theological determinism, a.k.a. evangelical Calvinism, which comes out of the neo-evangelical movement of the 1950s, is it a development of that? Um, no. Uh, if you think about evangelicalism as the heritage of the free will tradition from the Arminian and Wesleyan uh, uh, branches, then you're going to have a lot more uh, in terms of family resemblance. Uh, because open theism is really only disagreeing. It's, it's basically 80 to 90 percent of traditional Arminian free will theism. Um, <clears throat> the two points where open theism disagrees with our family, uh, our brothers and sisters in the free will tradition, is the uh, temporality of God and secondly, dynamic omniscience instead of exhaustive definite foreknowledge. Those are the two points. Now, I think there's significant points and we're, we're critiquing our other family members because we think they need to improve, they need to evolve. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but those are the two points in, in which we disagree. So most of it is a, a heritage of that free will tradition. Excellent.